<laughs> Welcome to our St. Mary's Gales baseball segment here. We're talking with the third baseman, the graduate uh, Billy Ralston, who we call him William on the SMC TV Plus audio cast. Uh, Gales coming off a series win against the Gonzaga Bulldogs. They're taking two out of three. And uh, the Gales will be getting ready to play the San Diego Ferreros for a big series where the, the Gales the, it control their own destiny and their fate for the um, the spot, the position himself for the West Coast Conference Tournament, which will begin as we do in this taping uh, two weeks from tomorrow in Vegas. And uh, I mean, you guys are in great position now, winning that that series. Yeah, um, you know, thanks for having me back on here, Professor B. And like you said, we just came off a big weekend in Gonzaga. Uh, we took two out of three, and now we're just going to keep doing our thing, playing Gales ball and take one game at a time this weekend. And um, hopefully uh, get our spot, uh, get ourselves a spot in Vegas uh, tournament. I mean, you guys, um, you know, going up there uh, in perspective is a tough place to play. Um, you know, up there in the Patterson Park, they, these guys were – the Bulldogs were the reigning defending uh, conference champs for the regular season last year. And now, you know, you guys going to be playing the, the, the defending uh, tournament champs of the West Coast Conference of last year, San Diego, who went to, to the regional. Yeah, like you said, it was, um, you know, a tough place to come in and play over the weekend in Gonzaga. It was a lot of our first times being there. And, you know, uh, they were a great team. And, you know, we're a pretty good team, too. So we went in and took care of business and, you know, we're going to keep that rolling. We got some momentum rolling into this weekend against San Diego, and we're just going to keep doing our thing, throwing strikes, making plays, and, you know, hitting the ball around the yard. So I think we're in a pretty good uh, spot to keep winning some ball games. And for the good news this week, the, the new ballpark, uh, the new Gallagher Stadium, going to be like the new well, Gallagher Stadium, like the art, like the old, like the formerly known as Luis Guisto Field is, is history. Now you can call it official. Ronald Gallagher Stadium. It will be. Um, they'll be having a ceremony this weekend before Game Two of this three-game series at high noon Pacific. Oh, it's going to be awesome having the stadium finally open. You get to have all the family and friends sitting behind home. Plate. Oh, the the Calvary's coming, though, William. The Calvary is coming. Oh, they're rolling in. Hey, they're rolling <coughs> in, and it's been long um, awaited. And you know, we're just happy to finally get it going for this last weekend, and it's going to be a great time. And you can make it out to the yard come check it out you won't uh, be disappointed i mean I, I totally agree you know this is where you know you put it back in perspective one year ago yesterday i was here as an observer seeing um my um, when i was with the were my old team the the san francisco dons uh, the gales you guys winning sweeping that third and final game of that three game series uh all of them were by one run. A lot of you guys were here last year for that. And then the, several months later, about, you know, three or four months later, I came here in September. Been, what, now uh, seven, almost eight months since I've been here. Uh, now we're in the red and blue. Yeah, they heard it. They knew you were coming to St. Mary's, so we had to get the stadium right for you, B. We had to get it going. And um, like we said, a long awaited, and it's just going to be a great time having everyone out here. God, what a week it was, a year it was. A year ago, a lot of uncertainty where I was heading, and, you know, in that, at that crossroads of my broadcasting career. And now, when you look at it now, you know, you guys, uh, you know, are control. I mean, in, pers in a personal perspective, uh, not to look past, but look forward in a perspective where two uh, two franchises are actually three of the uh, of the three of the Bay Area flagship teams of the WCC conference are headed. Look at what happened over the weekend. I mean, Santa Clara sweeps San Francisco first time uh, ever at Shot Stadium since the ballpark opened. In in 2005, I think San Francisco had won either nine of the previous 10 or 10 of the previous 11 times down there at Shot Stadium since that ballpark opened in 2005. Their first series sweep overall since in 20 years. Their first time they swept a series against San Francisco at their home park since 02, 2002, or 21 years when they were still playing at Buckshaw Stadium across the street from where Shot Stadium is now, where the San Jose Earthquake resides their home. So you can see the balance of power definitely changing in that rivalry. Not only that, but when it comes to recruiting in, in that Bay Area landscape, in that area in here because of where the, the where the because of the coaching change and where you know a lot of uncertainty with them, them but where the Gales and where the Broncos are going in the future. 
Yeah, like you said, um, you know, it's great that you found a finally found a home here with us. We love having you around here at St. Mary's. And um, like you said, Sa uh, Santa Clara, they're a really good team, and they're a really good team this year. They got a lot of good pitching, and, um, yep. you know, they may be a t uh, tough team to beat down the stretch. But And, um, and as we're doing this taping tonight, because we're doing this on Tuesday, they're playing the Stanford Cardinals, the seventh-ranked Cardinals down, in, I think, at um, – at their place tonight, if they were to get a win, a midweek game against a ranked, nationally ranked team, that helps in their RPI. They they could, if things got, if they don't win the conference tournament, they're going to take a serious look at possibly getting in that large bid. Yeah, they could. Like, um, they're a good team and they got good pitching all around. So um, they're going to be tough to beat. And I'm sure they're going to put up a good game down there in Stanford tonight. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to possibly playing them in the tournament and uh, we'll get after them and we'll keep playing our game and that's all uh, we're worried about right now well i think that's that's the right attitude i really commend you guys for the way how you guys are handling it the situation and and one thing for the record off record i didn't tell you guys the way how you guys conducted yourselves last weekend or the previous weekend against uh usf um that final game you guys you know we lost two or three of just avoiding the um the negativity with that team, that little uh, lull, um, uh, their their guy at first base did when he was scoring home, to, um, just kind of just ignoring, not falling for that trap because of them, um, you know. Those guys were fighting for their life to stay in that race. They knew the prospect they could have been eliminated, which they were eliminated last Saturday night by virtue of their loss before our game it um, took place and. Uh, you guys stayed after and just ignored the the, 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 the Grinch and the um, and the and Scrooge and took care of business and that's what really matters. Definitely, you know, there's some tempers uh, flaring down there in uh, San Francisco, frustration, and um, you know we handled it very well. We bounced back. Um, we didn't let that affect us in any way, and we bounced back and we put it to uh, Gonzaga. We played three of the, our best games of the season and. You know, the pass is the pass with that San Francisco series and um, and the Gonzaga forward. series because yeah. you know, hey, you know, by the, hopefully by the end of the, this weekend we'll be um, doing. I hope Cassie uh, start ordering up uh, some uh, non-alcoholic champagne and some Martinelli cider. We can do a little celebration down at the bungalow for after the game, though. Hey, that is, Cassidy better be ordering that stuff for us. Hey, we'll be we'll be celebrating once we uh, take care of business this I should say, let's take it one game at a time, though. And I think this is very important for me. A kind of, you know, vindication for for the opportunity of this year, kind of redemption, vindication. No matter what happens after this weekend in the tournament, whatever, because of the, of the ordeal I went through last year personally. And, of course, for um, Coach Nash, uh, who had that frightening scare, having two multiple spots in his in his uh, thyroid getting take out and then some other, you know. Yeah, we're just thankful that, um, you know, first of all, we're really thankful for Nash's health. You know, he's bouncing back well. And, you know, we love having him out here at the yard. He's a great coach. And for your pops, though, he got whacked in the uh, – got whacked in that, in that noggin for a minute, though. My, pie, my pops got yeah. my pops got hit through the screen. Uh, he's bouncing back. And, um, you know, Professor, like you said, Professor B yourself, it's great having you out here. And it's been You know, it's awesome funny. I year. told – I gave your dad some little tidbit, um, the, the pet peeve about the first baseline that Benedetti Diamond – it's very short, and I gave him, hey, heads up. you got to be alert at all times. Hey, you know, he's getting a little older. He's not moving as fast as he once was. So, yeah, I was, I was concerned for him down there, not too much room. Balls are bouncing back off that brick wall. And, exactly. Yeah, he survived. He, he That's made no joke. That's no field. joke. It's like bullets flying around, and he, uh, he survived down now there. Now I know why former uh, Alan Smooty, when he was a volunteer coach at first base, or at um, knows what he has to deal with. Hey, Billy, uh, thanks for being, being on there today. Hey, Professor B, thanks for having me again. Hey, you're awesome out here, and we really enjoy you out here. So um, let's hopefully get a couple wins this week and keep rolling. Gales will keep rolling. <coughs> okay, that's um, that's Billy Walson, the, the, the Gales third baseman. Brian, Professor B. Davis here in Moraga, listening to St. Mary's Gales podcast um, Spotlight on SMC TV Plus Audiocast.